Greetings, YouTube. So I want to have a discussion, a panel discussion about uh, the vaccine and reluctance to take the vaccine. Um, to make it a, a, a balanced discussion or a fair discussion, um, it would be nice to have people on the panel who are for the vaccine, those who are against the vaccine, someone who's taken the vaccine um, and had no reactions or issues from it, and someone who's taken the vaccine and have had issues from it. Um, someone who is for the vaccine who's had COVID, someone who's against the vaccine who's had COVID. Again, for a balanced discussion, um, we can pass on uh, rumors and conspiracy theories and we can try to scare people into taking the vaccine or we can try to scare people into not taking the vaccine. But what we really need is a honest discussion based on facts. And a lot of times facts come from experience. Um, we're, we're hearing what other people say and how do we know that's fact? We're reading stuff. How do we know that's fact? But one thing that is fact is experience. So, um, and we have to bring in some research and we have to bring in some things that people have said. Uh, we, we have to weigh those, those, uh, discussions also, although, oh, that information, we have to weigh that information also, but it's worth discussing, um, having a very mature discussion about it. Um, I would like to do it on a, a panel that gets numbers because people, I know it's not something that people want to talk about. It's not in, entertaining, but it needs to be discussed. Um, I have, I was told by Kwani to do it on, and someone else, I think T TC, to do it on my uh, channel. My channel doesn't get a lot of views. I'm I'm not here for you know. I get a I get a little little payment uh, on the twenty second, but trust me, it ain't enough. It's just enough to maybe get a massage. Um, so it, so basically, what I'm saying is, I you know, I don't know whether I have enough of viewers for it to be effective on my channel. And that's why it would be great to have it on someone's channel, like maybe Lady Nika or, um, and I say Lady Nika is because you have other people who are not really interested in doing this on their channel. I know Bless would not be interested in having a discussion about a vaccine on her channel, uh, but perhaps Lady Nika would, um, maybe, uh, Sir King's channel or, uh, Kwani's channel. Um, people who do have a larger viewers than myself. Again, so that we can make this uh, a discussion where people can um, give their input, um, whether they are in the comments or whether they're up on the panel, that everybody is able to give their input. So that is what I want to do. And again, I know this picture, or not again, because I didn't say it in the first place, this picture that is showing have nothing to do with the COVID vaccine. But the reason why I chose this uh, picture is because this is not the first time that there's been a, de a debate uh, or a discussion or reluctance to a vaccine. Um, people have been discussing um, uh, the vaccine with children. You know, you have to have the, your children have to be vaccinated to go to school, public school. And that discussion has been going on for years. Um, and we that and we give our we allow our kids to have vaccines if they go to public schools. Um, they have to be vaccinated if they go to college. So we have had this discussion before and had this, this concern before. So the vaccine debate. Um, I would like to do that. Uh, drop down in the comments if you have any ideas about how I can put it together. Um, would you be interested in it? Um, again, I need I need some participants, like I said, on the panel who are for the vaccine, against the vaccine. I will volunteer for the person who's had COVID, who is for the vaccine. Now, I I, I am pro vaccine, but let me say this and that. Two things that I not I'm not for concerning the vaccine. If someone has allergies. Um, I think that they should be evaluated um, by their doctors, not just one, but a couple, to make sure that it's safe for them to get the vaccine or maybe make the choice not to get the vaccine at all uh, if, you, if you have allergies. Uh, number two, 
if you have a conviction uh, against the vaccine, when you just adamantly against it, you, you just don't sit right with your spirit at all. It's just something you're totally against. I think that that person should not be pressured or made to get the vaccine. Other than that, I am pro. I am for the vaccine and I've had COVID. So again, we need participation. We need people who are for the vaccine or against the vaccine. I want somebody who's had COVID that's for the vaccine and somebody who's had COVID that's against the vaccine. I want people who have had the vaccination uh, who's had a uh, positive or haven't had any issues with it on the panel and someone on the panel who's had the vaccine who has had um, issues with it. Um, I know at least 40 people, at least, it may be more, because uh, I know a lot of people in, in healthcare. Um, I work with people in healthcare directly. Um, and, and they've had this vaccine and not one person, other than a sore, sore arm, not one person that I know personally who's had the vaccine had any issues with it. But that's just my experience. Your experience may be different. And that's why I want to have this discussion. That's why this discussion is so important for us to have. Because uh, the other part to this discussion is, if you don't, do not believe the vaccine is safe or the vaccine is the answer, what is the answer? How can this deadly pandemic uh, come to an end? What, what, what's the answer to it? What, how can we lower these numbers and get back to our normal daily life? I know we're going to have a new normal, but where things are opening up, we can't continue years like this. This is Ms. Cruiser. Please like, share, and subscribe. Drop down in the comments. Let me know any ideas that you have on me putting this panel together.